Welcome back, everybody. This is Skywalker, and we are traversing uh, High Hrothgar with my new Clear Sky Shout. There we go. We're headed up here to talk to Parthenax, who's the leader of the Greybeards, and uh, who knows what we're going to find. This looks pretty sunny for all this cold wind. I guess there's a lot of clouds up there, I don't know. You know how the weather changes when you gain altitude, it's just a fact of life. It doesn't necessarily always have to be windy, but uh... Uh oh. Alright, another one of those ice wraith. We'll take their teeth. Let's go to, um, ingredients. Weakness to frost. All right. I wonder if everybody can hear me from down below. Stand at the top and just be like, Look! Sounds like thunder and lightning. Oh, yeah. Look! Whoa, it's making me stumble. I even lost some health on that. Here we oh there's a word of power up there. It's gotta be. Whoa. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Drem your look. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach? My mountain. Oh boy. Um. I wasn't expecting you to be a dragon. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovakin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the Dragon Ren shout. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dovahkiin. I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. Alright, so we just breathe the word into this wall, so let's pick it up. We are learning words left and right. 
That's a good thing, though. We still have a place we can go to after this, too. It's going to be awesome. Alright, so I think he wants me... Wait, let me see here. Oh, darn it. Come on, loading map thingy. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. Okie okay, doke. So we gotta go to Shouts. He's just giving us a new shout. I think it's Fire Breath. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Excuse me. What is it? Inhale, air, exhale, flame, and behold the Thum as Inferno. Fire Breath. Fire. Did I, um, did I equip that? Fire, 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 fire. Here we go. Do not be afraid. Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? And Pastoroni. A whole lots of mozzarella. Can you teach me the dragon wrench out? I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Um, how did you know I came for Dragon Ren? The Greybeard doesn't want me to come at all. Do you know the Dragon Ren or not? How did you know I came for Dragon Ren? Alduin Comet Deed. What else would you seek? Alduin and Dovakin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the Dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? I need to stop Alduin. Yes, Alduin. Zembach. The elder brother. Gifted, grasping, and troublesome. As is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Let's see, um... I like this world, I don't want it to end, because I'm a good boy. Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin. Would you stop the next world from being born? Um... The next world will have to take care of itself. Paz. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. 
Necrosis. Now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? I never thought about it. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Using the dragon wren to shout, right? Hmm, yes and no. Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragon Rend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Are you saying the ancient Nord sent Alduin forward in time? Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Esbern or Arangir might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Tovakin. Your blood will show you the way. All right. Drem your lock. Greetings. No, I was exiting. All right. Sum Ark Mora. So he's relaxing there. We're going to fast travel. This is going to save us a lot of time. We just heard a mouthful there. Uh, apparently the top of that mountain is where Alduin's been defeated f before. And the Dragon Wren shout they used did some kind of... Like time was shattered that day. And, and he was sent forward in time or lost in time. And now he's back as we's or we've already seen. Uh, we witnessed with Delphine him resurrect another dragon. And ironically enough... Um, he was the one that showed up in my first episode and also my my up-and-coming video of Elder Scrolls V um, when I was at Helgen about to get my head chopped off. 
ironically, and I did mention this before and I didn't spoil it yet, but this is like the 51st, 51st episode, he saved our life the day we were supposed to be executed. So that's kind of one of the cool things about this game. You know, if, if you saw that back there, um, again, it's up and coming, uh, Elder Scrolls V, also episode one. And you made it this far, congratulations, I'm glad you guys got to hear that. Uh, it is kind of an interesting story, it really is, and look at this whole map, we got a lot to check out still, I mean, there's a lot of unfound uh, icons on this map, you know, a lot of places to view, we're n um, I'm not sure if we're even halfway done, who knows, I'm not really sure, I know we got a lot of words of power to get, I think there's around, I don't know, jeez, I don't know, probably like 20, 30, maybe even more, um, let's go back to to Skyhaven Temple. And we're going to ask Esbern about uh, how to find this, if, if he knows anything about the Elder Scroll. As a matter of fact, we could have gone straight to, um, geez Louise, we could have gone straight to the College of Winterhold, and, um, because that was our lead from, from the Dawnguard quests, so we could have done that. Again, both of these tie into the same scroll. There's just, uh, I guess, a lot of info to an Elder Scroll. Let me run up there. Oh, you know what? We left to run. I gotta grab her. All right. She's waiting at Mount Hrothgar or something. Maybe we just parted ways, and we'll have to not pay attention to the part where I pick her back up in uh, at the High Hrothgar front door. I'm just gonna grab a quick hello from Esbern, and what do you make of this? And uh, and then we will head back to the steps of High Hrothgar. We will we will grab Serana, and then we will go to the College of Winterholds and continue our quest for all this. Where are you? I'm kind of rushing. I'm kind of excited right now and want to get as much in in this episode as I can. So we'll be searching for yet another shout. Uh, we picked up a couple shouts the last few episodes. Clear skies, a flame. Uh, what is the second part of? Might be some kind of raised dead from Dernavir the Dragon. And we're going to be searching for Dragon Rend, which apparently does something to dragons, which is going to be nice. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm yawning. Kind of a nice little balcony area for the Skyhaven Temple. I used to dream of it. In the dream I was standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn, and the whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon, within the clouds that mark the border between worlds. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew, but I could never wake up. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange, the color of hearth and dawn, and a sound, too. Distinct and indistinct. Not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what uh, I don't yet know. Excuse me, Paul. Ah, pardon. you're back. I hope you've made some progress on tracking down this shout we need to defeat Alduin. I'll need an Elder Scroll to get any further. Ah, indeed. There's a pretty puzzle. Not the kind of thing you will find in your local bookshop. Let me think. Perhaps the College of Winterhold, what learning there is in Skyrim, is gathered there. One of the mages there may be able to put you on the trail of this Elder Scroll. All right. Any advice on for fighting dragons? You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. 
I doubt the blessing's effects last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. Sure, we'll take that dragon slaying May the scales of the dragon kind splinter at the touch of your arrows and crack under the weight of your sword. That's all there is to it, Dragonborn. Good luck. All right, so we've got a quick Finally, blessing. Realization of horror arrived. Let's uh, fast travel right back over to where we left Serana, and then after Serana, we will fast travel to the College of Winterhold. Where are you? Mountain, where is you? Here you are. Serana, Serana, Serana. There's a freaky looking old hag. There you are, girlfriend. What now? Let's go. Yeah, baby. Let's do this. My job is to serve the Jarl, not waste time talking to travelers. There's the College of Winterhold in the background. Um, this is a bridge that goes to it. I think there's a giant chasm underneath. But in any case, uh, there you are. All right. Come on, honey bunny. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. This is the gatekeeper to Castle Winterhold. Okay, um, why are you out here? I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if, in the process, my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? May I enter the college? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? I seek the knowledge of the Elder Scrolls. Do you? It is true there are some here who have spent years studying the accumulated knowledge of the Scrolls. But what you seek does not come easily, and can destroy those without a strong will. It would seem that the College has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the College? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Um, I'll take your test then. Excellent. The fear spell has saved the life of many an illusion mage. If you could cast it on the seal here on the ground, that would prove your skill. I don't know that spell. No? Well, if you think you're capable of it, then I'd be happy to provide it to you for a mere 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Okay, um, I'll pay for the spell. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Well, spit Your out the letter already. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. 
That's an interesting uh, feature of this game. Every once in a while you get couriers that'll bring you random random letters from random people and there's quests attached. Let's check that out before I cast this fierce spell. Courier's letter. Uh, that's the wrong one, I think. Letter from a friend? Don't I have a letter from a friend? Here we go. Marcus, you caused a bit of a stir when you demonstrated the power of your thune. Not everyone in is anxious for the return of the Dragonborn. I, for one, desire to see you grow and develop your talents. Skyrim means a true hero these days. You should turn your attention to Rag Ragnavald. I understand it holds a mysterious source of power that can only be unlocked by the Dragonborn. Sincerely, a friend. Now, I've been getting these letters. I have started various characters, and I've been getting these letters from couriers. And it's always called a letter from a friend. And I never found out who this guy was, so one of these days we will try and find out who that is. For now, I think we have to cast a spell for this lady in order to get into the College of Winterhold. So let's go to... Sh uh, she said illusion, it's fear. Creatures and people up to level 9 flee from combat for 30 seconds. That's an apprentice level spell and it costs 134. The college is an asset to Skyrim. Even if well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. I'm gonna run right past her. Do 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 do. All right. Awesome. College of Winterhold discovered. Kind of an impressive looking tower here at the beginning. Kind of neat. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Know what I mean, eh? Wow. They have little light spells going on here. Nice courtyard. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. Darn it, or I'm gonna skip this part. Okay, I'm gonna do a little spoiler. It's nothing big, it's nothing huge, but if you're a magic fan, you come here, you wanna talk to that lady that was having a conversation with that dark uh, or that elf. He's not a dark elf, that elf. Um and she will allow you to join the college she will give you a short what is it like a walk around and show you a few different areas of the college I um, have many important things on my mind your concerns are not among them it will excuse me pal um, again the woman she will show you uh, more importantly I think to a room she will give you f they will give you free room and board um, what else yeah, it's pretty nice. There's a lot of different wizards here. A bunch of them can train you in different stuff like illusion, restoration, destruction. Um, a couple of them have stuff they can sell and buy, which is very nice. Uh, again, the room is free, which is big because you have unlimited storage in one of those chests, I, I believe. At least I've never been able to fill those full to the brink of them telling you you can't put anything in there. This is a great library they have. So we'll just do a quick round of this. 
you can sit here and read as many books as you'd like. As you can see, there's a lot of books here. If you're a thief, this is a jackpot of books if you're willing to take from just about anybody. I'm not sure if you can open these, can you? Yeah, some of these are openable. But you gotta get a key somehow. What was that? I've never been in there. I never, uh... Investigator's chest. Yeah, I never entered the chest. Here is the librarian. He's a kind of an interesting character. I kind of like him as gruff as he is. Let's talk to Urag. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium, and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronachs. Now, do you require assistance? Okay, um... I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? Uh, of course I do. Do you have one here? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about the Dragonborn? What about... Wait. Are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them. But it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Until next right. time. Urog is an orc. He's an interesting orc. I mean... He keeps this, pretty, uh, this place pretty nice for an orc, you know? We're going to be picking up uh, this quest, uh, taking care of both There you go. Try not to spill anything on them. Don Guard and also the main quest line, uh, both at the same time. We need to... Let me show you that quest, uh, both those quests right now. Okay, um, first lessons. We don't want up. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to do Elder Knowledge, and it wants us to learn the location of Elder Scroll. We're also doing... Scroll scouting or seeking disclosure. All three of these are in the same direction. And two of these are, are Dragonborn. One of them's main. But we'll be picking that up next time. As you can see in front of me, Ruminations of the Elder Scrolls also affects the Elder Scrolls. These are the books that uh, we came looking for in order to find the information. But uh, we're going to be picking this up next episode, guys. This has been Skywalker, and I will check you guys later.